Hi everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Crash Mo. This video here will go over my intent behind the series and the rabbit hole that led me to making it. So, let me preface all of this by saying you don't need to watch this part for a full guide of Crash Mo. If you're here just for the guide, then part one will be uploaded tomorrow. So to properly start this video off, let's talk about the things that influenced me to make this, and what better way of compartmentalizing all of my explanations than by making a list. So starting with number one, Spite. The game is infamously difficult and is easily the hardest game in the series. Uh, I'll get a little bit more into detail with that in the next segment, but just for now understand that this game pissed me off. And that pissing me off led me to what the next segment is, that being number two, a lack of online coverage. So I want to say this game is known. Gaming channels and publications have done coverage of it in the past, you know, the typical trailers and five minute gameplay videos and whatnot. But my main point of discussion here has to do with general online discussion in social media as well as forums and a surprising lack of guides for the game online as well. So the major issue with me specifically though is those lack of guides. I mean it's really obnoxious that I can't just cheat in a game. I mean imagine not being able to copy somebody else's work in a puzzle game and then saying that it's your own. I mean it's outrageous. Honestly a true tragedy among all gaming everywhere. Now, to pull it back for a second, I want to say that there are a couple attempted guides about Crash Mo online. Uh, the most prominent one in English that I was able to find was an incomplete guide on IGN's website made by these people that are on the screen right now. Um, in general, it is pretty useful for the main campaign, mostly consisting of those first 100 levels, but for some reason, once it gets into the bonus crash mode, the last 40 of the game, it stops at the 6th one. Um, according to a Reddit thread on r slash icebergs, uh, the guide apparently was fully comprehensive at one point, but it was mysteriously deleted. Ooh, I hope crashmo.exe creepypastas start to show up. So speaking of subreddits, I have to say that r slash iceberg was one of the only places online that I was able to find a decent bit of info about the game and some of its mysteries. For example, it does directly reference the IGN guide that I just mentioned. It also mentions the only other guide that I was able to find that goes through at least the main campaign and bonus content being the first one being the uh, 140 levels in Crash Mode. So, this guide I'm referring to is hosted on some obscure Japanese blogspot website called Hikuotsu, which is the name of the game in Japan. The guide there is pretty useful despite it all being in Japanese and me being a, you know, an English speaker. Uh, the guide covers, as I mentioned before, the main 140 levels of the game, as well as some of the bonus QR code levels that were distributed by Nintendo. Unfortunately, this list is not comprehensive, as it doesn't include the training or prototype levels of Crash Mode. You know, honestly, this Reddit iceberg also has some other interesting info about the series. Apparently, at some point, there was supposed to be a Pushmo movie that was in the works. There's also this detailed explanation of this subreddit that used to exist that was called r slash crashmo, where one of the moderators of said subreddit was suspended from their own subreddit. Goodness, looks like anything crashmo related can't get a break online. So with this constant mention of this iceberg post, you think I'd be able to credit this incredible crashmo historian for documenting such arcane knowledge, but I can't. The user deleted their account at some point, so there's no way I can actually give them any sort of credit in this case, aside from just linking the post that it's from. So I gotta give my thanks to the random Crashmo iceberg person who posted this. Thanks a ton. With that out of the way now, where was I? Oh yeah, the list. Okay, so let's let me go over the reasons I've already said. So number one was spite. Yeah, that, that tracks. Number two was a lack of online coverage. And with that out of the way, I think you can guess what number three is. Are you ready? Yeah, that's right. It's more fucking spite. I kid you not. That Japanese blog spot is the only reason I was able to finish the entirety of the game my first time around. 
Now, I know some of you may be asking, if there's a guide for this game, why do you feel the need to make a let's play of it? Okay, so listen, this site was helpful, but it was really sketchy to me. Uh, I don't really want to blame the author of the actual blog for this. Honestly, from what I'm guessing is a lack of upkeep. Uh, the site is kind of littered with all these really weird and out there ads, which I'm almost convinced will definitely give you a virus if you accidentally click on them. So, yeah. Now, I'm sure some of you, while I was answering that question, had this sort of thought that passed through your mind. Surely, there has to be some guide to this game on YouTube. Okay, so as far as I was able to check, and I really looked high and low for this, uh, I looked at speedruns, I looked at channels with like five subscribers, and I could only find one set of videos that even attempted to do a walkthrough of the game. And um, I really don't want to like make fun of this person because it, I, there's no re you shouldn't really mock someone just because they don't really have the means of trying to get gameplay footage for a console that has been infamous for getting gameplay footage directly from said console. I do want to commend their effort for trying to make this. Now aside from this guide that I just mentioned, the only other really relevant footage I could find of Crash Mill Online uh, came from the only speedrun of this game, making it the world record, so I want to give a congratulation to the person who I just put on screen right now who did said speedrun. And I want to say the run is pretty cool. Uh, the only issue with that run is that it's an any percent run, meaning it didn't have to complete the entire game, and they only went through the first 100 levels, which can be kind of useful, but for what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to do a full comprehensive guide, so this isn't going to fly for me. Okay, so I did have one more actual reason why I'm doing this Let's Play, and why it's being done now. So, as some of you may already know, the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U eShop is closing in about a year. And, as of late May this year, you'll no longer be able to make purchases with a credit card. That means, by the end of this May, most people will not be able to easily get this game, as it is a downloadable title. And now, I know some people can make the argument that, oh, you can emulate it and pirate it or whatever. And, while that is true, I doubt that most people will go out of their way to get an emulator and find a ROM of some old downloadable title that's 10 years old. Yeah, this game's 10 years old. It's kind of crazy to think about. So, with this Let's Play, I'm hoping this can give some kind of spotlight to Crashmo, as well as the other games in the series like Pushmo, Pushmo World, and Stretchmo. I really do think these are great games. And even if you're slightly interested, you, you've only said, oh, I've heard some people say good things about it, I do recommend picking up these games. I do think these are some of the most well-crafted puzzle games I have played in, in most of my life. So, uh, yeah, try to, get, try to get the game before it goes away. And if you're watching this after the eShop for the 3DS and Wii U are closed already, uh, try to bug Nintendo and Intelligent System any way you can so that we can get some kind of collection of these games on the Switch or whatever their new console is going to end up being. So, after getting all my thoughts out of the way, um, I hope to see you here for part one of Let's Play Crash Mode tomorrow. And with all of that, I, I hope you all have a good day, whoever may be listening to this. So, until part one, tomorrow. Which is not today, which is the next day. This was a bad way to end the video. <laughs>